windy, so I didn't go fishing. So instead, I want to do this for a while. I got a pretty good sized private lake and it wants a structure made for it. So, uh, just sitting here making these crappie structures. Make these. There's all kinds of make different ways to do it. And use cinder blocks, cinder blocks, pillows, or concrete in between the gaps and cinder blocks. The ones I like, you can place these a little better. Just get old five gallon buckets. Uh, a lot of times you can find them here and there. Uh, you can go buy them, five gallon buckets on deck, and you're only going to make a few. Um, and then catch two, something rolled. Uh, Lowe's had it on sale. They had uh, 300 foot of uh, three quarter inch uh, PEX tube for 70 bucks. So I went and got that, cut it off in about five, five and a half inches somewhere in there. And you don't really want to stretch it out and let it heat up. You want it to stay kind of coiled. And then uh, for three of them, make three of these. You need about 100 foot of the pack and uh, one piece of uh, 10 foot long, 3 4 inch, you need some pipes. If you're really holding your bucket straight across, just pick it up for your pipes so for you to make it cross it like that. What that do is, when you lower it down, it keeps it from ever tipping over. Okay. And then you got your pack that comes in rolls, spot curtain, you know, big rolls. Come and roll. It's been cold for so long, it won't straight down. Uh, you just cut it off wherever length you want, wherever circle you want. Then you get you a drill and then a uh, step bit. You can use an auger bit if you want. If you got one big enough, but I keep the step bit. You keep the drill in the box. And you take the text, drill a hole the same size as your text too, straight across the one another. You don't want to go up high. You just want to go up high and put it in the next pipe. That's all you do. You kind of look at it. You're not perfect. It's not a big deal. Just drill your hole big enough for your pipe to go through. And the opposite side, you do the same thing. Get your hole drill on each side, and you take a piece of tube, one snug, snugger the better, but it ain't got to be perfect. It ain't got to be just absolutely perfect. Push it through. Push it through the next hole, the hole you made on the other side. You may have to do a little bit of fishing in the big way and carry it on to get it in there. Get it all the way through. Don't just go too small. Put 
doesn't matter if we're standing up right now. Too hard to get through. Tucks will go right back to the shape once you heat it up. the other one. Crossing each other. 
Make sure your handle's up here when you pour your concrete in. You put your pipes in there like this. It'll look like that. You put your, if your handle's up, whenever you go out and place them, one, one they're easy to lift, but two, you can put them exactly where you want them. How you do that? You just take a piece of rope or heavy paracord. You got paracord to work. Just whatever will hold. You take that rope and put it to this handle. Take the rope, put it through the handle. Make sure you got enough rope. Wipe the length. Wipe the length. You cut them. And then whenever you place them. Lower it and hang on to both hang on to both ends. And lower it down. And then when you get it where you want to play, let go of one of the ropes and just pull your rope back. It's exactly where you want it that way. And you're not dropping it and worrying about it, laying it on its side, you know, like this and not sticking up. And then it'll keep that sticking straight up and you can put it exactly where you want it. That's kind of what I'm doing. Just out here pedaling. I'm getting these all made up and then I'll take it. I'll wake up concrete and pull the concrete in them all at once. For now, I'm just getting them all made up, set by side. That's all I'm doing. Let's get these on. Uh, 
a bunch of weapons laying around. Uh, if you did have a fire, I had to load the bucket so I fire on it. And uh, 300 foot, you can make a bike slow with these on 300 foot. May not have a tall one. You want to have a catch to be. Um, you want taller, you can let the course a little bit shorter. But uh, if you don't want the handles on, uh, you still concrete up, so it's over the so the pole and everything good. And that's the concrete, you can away the rest of the bucket. And, uh, Good that, you know, if you don't have a bunch of buckets, uh, put it on hard ground or something. If you need to go anywhere with mud, it's got mud, small gravel, and a little bit of uneven place. So that's why I like a lot of old dirt together. It's easier to put the back if you want them on the mud. So what we're going to do with these, we're going to tie, we're going to tie a uh, uh, milk can. Yeah. 